Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be doing a serene landscape and I'll be linking in the description box below the reference image for this painting tutorial as always. And we'll be using only six colors for today's painting. We have here titanium white. Okay, I've already prepared the colors. Titanium white, thalo green, thalo blue, um, mid yellow. You can also use cadmium yellow burnt sienna and black so let's begin now i'll be sketching first the subject before we proceed to doing the detailing as always so i'll be using just a regular brush for sketching okay i'm gonna identify first where my horizon line is gonna go and for the horizon horizon line i'm just gonna use my black so the horizon the horizon line will be hmm, here Alright, so that is our horizon line and I'm gonna wet my brush and I'm gonna get again some black and then phthalo blue. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna get my phthalo green. So it's like making some gradient effect all right like that okay i'm gonna get my yellow mid yellow and as you can see here i'm adding a lot of water to the paint so that it flows smoothly if your canvas is quite smooth um you don't have to add a lot of water it's just that I'm a fan of watering down my paints. All right, like that. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. I'm gonna get some combination of burnt sienna, mid yellow and white. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of phthalo green so it's like this. As I go down, that would be the color. Okay, I'm not really covering this area because we will be covering it with foliage later. For now, we're, we're just doing the underpainting for this. Now let's do the mountain. This is just the underpainting, guys. This is not the actual color. We just want it covered, pretty covered. So we're going to do some mountain and I'll be using my black. We're just going to identify where the mountain is going to go. Actually, this is, these are not mountains. These are rocks. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to switch to my small square brush. I'm going to get again a black and I'm going to underpaint the mountain. And as you can see here, I'll be going uh, in different directions in creating texture. We'll be also, we will also be using our palette knife later. So be prepared for that. Okay, I'm gonna mark that. Okay, now I'm gonna get my brown. 
burnt sienna plus white and I'm just gonna go I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black and fill in those spaces that we see here I suggest that you go in different directions so that you already create the rocky pat uh, the patterns of rocks okay there's some sort of green but I don't mind I'm just gonna cover that okay this time I'll be using some light brown Then some rounds. I'm gonna make it quite light right here on the right side. This area will be covered with foliage anyway. Okay, again, we're just in the stage of underpainting our canvas, but we already want to create the texture so that it will be easier for us to identify where the textures are gonna go later so I'm just gonna allow that first to dry let's proceed to doing the sky actually you can leave the sky black like this if you want a bright sunny day or a clear sky but for me there really is no white sky um, the sky always has some colors to it because of the light either it's muted white uh, yeah muted white or uh muted white is there a muted white i think it's like off white and then we have sometimes blue and all that so i don't want it i don't want to leave it empty um again it doesn't really matter it, will, it won't really affect the serenity of the painting but i kind of want to give it some real um some sort of realism so i'm gonna get some gray color with some hints of blue like this color okay and i'm gonna okay that's too blue i'm gonna add white just to fill in the sky space Okay, so that's basically the color of my sky and we will be doing some detailing later. Let's just allow the first or the, the paint to dry first. <laughs> All right. Okay, like that. Now let's go to doing the to the water area. Let's go back to where we started. So I'm going to get my black. I'm going to basically redo everything that we did. Uh, we're just allowing the first layer to dry. And then we're going to put some paints over it so i'm gonna use my black okay and i'm gonna redefine my horizon line by just going over the horizon line that we already did earlier just try to redefine it all right like that okay now without washing my brush, I'm gonna get my phthalo green. And again, I'm just gonna go over the area where we started, all right? Basically double layering this water area. Okay, now I'm gonna mix some yellow with my green, okay? Making some yellow greeny color 
actually it's raining now guys so it's a rainy day painting for me so i'm gonna use this to again just layer and that whistling sound by the way is the wind that you're hearing actually because um my uh i am located at a very high building so or a very tall building so uh you can hear the wind from the outside all right now i'm gonna add some white oh, some white to my already existing yellow green color but i'll be adding some burnt sienna to that to kind of tone down the yellowness and i'll be using this to again go over this area i'm gonna add a tiny bit of brown it's too yellow I hope you guys can still hear me because of the rain but um we'll do our best to i'm gonna shout <laughs> if needed to if the rain gets um heavier and heavier i'm gonna just uh, volume up my voice so yeah basically we've done the second layer for the water and it looks so much better now we will do more detailing later all right okay Just gonna all right now let's go to the mountain or to the rocky part of this painting so i'm gonna use my palette knife as you can see my palette knife is i really don't clean my palette knife i think i've mentioned that in my earlier videos um, the purpose is for me to actually take advantage of the dried acrylic paint because it kind of creates the texture that I want when I'm doing mountains and rocks and all that. So I'm going to use my palette knife and I'm going to mix my white. Okay. Tiny bit of brown. Okay. The black is mixing, but it's all right. I don't mind. Tiny bit of yellow. Again, brown. Like this color. Okay. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the back of my palette knife and to create some texture. All right, just like that. And now I'm gonna dab on to my black paint and do the same thing. And we're just going to create some texture using our black. Okay, now I'm gonna get more light, or I'm gonna mix my black with the existing light brown that we have here. And I'm gonna use this to create another value of light brown. Okay. 
okay now I'm gonna get my square brush my normal square brush I'm gonna dab onto my blue mix it with white So there should be some blue or hints of blue somewhere. And even on the sky. Okay, I'm gonna use this blue. Just like that. Gonna wash my brush out. Okay. Now let's before we go back to the rock or to the rocky part of this painting, I'm gonna go and make the foliage right here. So I'm gonna get my black and just fill in that corner with some black paint. And that goes up here. All right, I'm gonna mix my black with my phthalo green. Kinda identify where the plants are gonna go. So I'm gonna mix my green with my yellow just to create some yellow greenish um, plants or leaves. It's too yellow.
So this is like a pine tree that is being cut from the frame. I'm going to add brown to my yellow green mixture just to add some natural looking patterns. Okay, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna get my black. I just want to create like hints of branches. Okay, I'm gonna get my yellow. Okay, I wonder how this looks like. Okay, very nice. All right, now I'm gonna wash my brush out. Let's leave the foliage for now, like that. We'll be adding more details if necessary later before we close the video. But let's go back to the water. Okay, I'm gonna get my white and it's not really pure white. The yellow is mixing, which is what I want. Actually, I want to mix with it um, I want to mix with it some yellow so I'm gonna get some light yellow and I'm gonna make some reflections okay I'm gonna go first with the reflection of this this white part of the rock I'm going to add a tiny bit of brown.
right and then I'm gonna remove the excess water and I will move vertical like that okay okay I'm gonna get my white remove the excess water and again just go back Okay, I'm gonna get my yellows. Add some yellow highlights. Right like that. And then I'm gonna wash my brush out. Okay, now we're going to use our ordinary brush to create or define even more the mountain or the rocks. So I'm gonna get my black. I'm just going to redefine the rocks. Okay, and I'm gonna get my green. I'm just gonna fix this. I don't like the too much dark here. Too much dark colors. I kinda don't like it. Alright. I'm gonna get my white. Let's start detailing it with white, especially this side because the light is coming from the right side. So this mountain should be a little lighter or these rocks, these rocks should be a little lighter. So I'm just dabbing on some hints of white here and there. And also, just along the horizon line. All right, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna get my mid yellow. Okay, I'm gonna use a lot of water for this next step. And I'm gonna glaze the water with some yellow. Okay. 
Okay, just like that. Okay, just like that to give it more like um to to emphasize that this is a one subject. I don't want the brush strokes to be separately uh, viewed as separate pictures, if I make sense, guys. So I'm gonna get my pure white. Okay, now I'm going to use my palette knife. I'm going to use my white. I hope the yellow. Okay, I'm going to use my white. Let's go back. Let's create more texture. Let's proceed to doing the sky. I'm gonna get my white. Let's create some clouds. All right, just like that. All right. Okay, I'm gonna lighten this part of the rocks I'm going to glaze with some white. Okay. Giving my rock some dimension. Right, that's what I want. And then I'm going to redefine no, not redefine. I'm going to add more details. I'm going to get my yellow plus white and green. Just add more details. I'm gonna get my white.
Okay, let's go back to green. some black yeah I think this is very beautiful guys right i think this is very nice okay i'm gonna wash my brush out and i don't know if i'm gonna correct okay i think i'm just gonna straighten it a bit kind of right like that And then redefine it. Oh, my gosh, so beautiful. Oh, this is so beautiful, guys. So beautiful. some depth here like that All right, this is very nice. And I think I'm gonna sign this now because we're done. I'm gonna sign right here. I'm gonna use my white and sign my name. We're done, guys. We're done. I hope you enjoyed this very simple landscape painting that we did today. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope you like this one. Share this with your friends if you really liked it. Or paint along with me and tag me on your uh, social media post so that I know that you painted along with me and that I also know what you think about this painting. So see you in my next video. <laughs> Love you.